Hi. Omar's not pleased. You got a bone? You got a bone? Yeah, there's a bone in there. I think I'm about to be done for the day. Just get up early. Really? How early are you gonna get up? Six, seven. You're gonna have to get up at six. We haven't updated the vlog that you think we're gonna get out of here at 5 p.m. tomorrow. That all depends on you. Wait, what? How? That all depends on whether or not you can dangle someone to come clean up for us. Well, I mean, I'll hire cleaners. I feel like we don't have any choice. I mean, not if we want to get out of here. Well, if you're hiring cleaners, we're we'll sure Oh yeah, let's go take a look at the truck. Alex is under the impression that all of this stuff is gonna fit in this 16 foot truck. Besides the couches. Besides the couches. Alex hates these couches, so we're getting rid of them. We sold the washer dryer. A few things have been sold. Let's take a look at this uh, truck here. Uh, yeah. I like how my mom was like, it's fall. I said, it's not. It's not even fall. It's like <laughs> a third of the way Okay. Half-ish. Right, whatever you say. But look at that Tetris. You're doing stuff. a very good job at keeping it tight, but Tetris we're still not going to be able to fit. <laughs> we're still not going to be able to fit everything. No matter how good you are at Tetris. We have little things. So I guess we're done for the day. We're getting up early in the morning. <laughs> Don't see how this is going to happen. All right, so we're uh, we're still doing this. It's uh, 10 a.m. and we are still packing. Alex thinks, a couple of things Alex thinks. Alex thinks that we're going to get everything into this truck which we are certainly not going to. She also thinks we don't need any more boxes, which is possible. They're also showing the house right now to new tenants every hour for the next three hours. So that's been great. So I have this whole room full of shit. Alex is tripping, straight tripping. I'm gonna take a little sneaky break because she left and then get back to work. And she, oh, she also thinks we're gonna be out here by five. That's seven hours from now. And she thinks we're gonna drive four hours after that. She's fucking crazy, dog. She is crazy. She thinks this is gonna make it. This TV stand, definitely not gonna make it. There are so many things that are not gonna make it. Tingu, don't worry, you're gonna make it. My office is still full of shit. It's 4.39. <laughs> We're leaving in 20 minutes. <laughs> I haven't updated in a while. How you doing? Yeah, it's brutal. It is brutal. You're doing a good job. I'm impressed with how, how well you're packing the truck. It's seriously stuff. You're very much better at organizing things. It's looking good out here. You're making maximum use of space, I'll bet. But we're still gonna run out of room. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we got here. We're uh, definitely not leaving by five. We're getting pretty packed off. We'll check in when something else of importance happens. Oh, we hired cleaners. I don't know what time. The storms are brewing. It's gotta be 6.37. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> nice. Truck is full. House is full. <laughs> House is still full. What time is it? 4.15. Probably <laughs> like 7. <laughs> are, we, are we leaving tonight? A very large chance that we will not mm. <laughs> be leaving this evening. However, Breeze is greatly appreciated. It is a nice breeze. Let's take a look at the house. Get inside. I know. Come on. Hooey. Lord have mercy, Alex. What time is it? 2.30. What time is it? It's 8 p.m. <laughs> I'm currently texting the realtor to let her know that we will not be there. <laughs> we ain't making it today. Tomorrow. All right, so we have so much stuff and we've thrown away a lot of stuff, but I'm essentially just throwing, if I throw away stuff at this point, I'm literally just throwing away thousands and thousands of dollars. And the rest of this shit, it's gotta go in storage in the morning. Sleeping on the floor, couches, moon pods. You can sleep in my Gosha jacket, boo. Mm -hmm. Nice and puffy. I think we should just get a tent and go outside. Last night camping, you know, a little camp on Awana. We hold you in our hearts. What's wrong? You're not perky. What's wrong? I'm not perky. Yeah. I'm so tired. Did you close the truck? All right, well, let's get some dinner. Let's go to... Bird call. Omar, one more night in Hollywood. Okay, good morning. So, we slept here last night. I slept on the couch with Omar. It was one of the worst nights of sleep in my life. Honestly, I would have slept better on the floor, but Omar was on some serious cuddle mission last night, so I sacrificed my sleep. Right. There's so much going on anyway that I'm not gonna be able to sleep till this is done. Alex is on her way to Home Depot. I knew this was gonna happen, by the way. I just kept it positive, you know? I was like, I know Alex is wrong. There's a slight chance that I'm wrong, but let me just let this play out because either way, the universe is going 
to serve what it served. Are gonna have to get a box truck real quick from Home Depot, fill that up, go rent a storage unit, put everything in the storage unit, leave it here, and then just come get it later. I mean, Alex is gonna wanna visit her parents or friends or something. Something will happen where we need to come back here anyway. It's just stuff, but I can't just throw it away. Game is set up in a way that you cannot scheme it. You're either gonna lose money by throwing shit away, you're gonna rebuy it later, or you already bought it. You can put it in storage to cost you money, or you're gonna rent a truck where they charge you by square foot. It's gonna take up space. It's all game. So I'm gonna finish getting this kitchen clean, which is a fucking nightmare. And today, today I do believe that we'll actually be able to get out of here around five o'clock. Have faith today. We'll see what happens. All right. All right. Taking truck number two. You wanna follow me? Look at the amount of trash. That's, that's crazy. I know. That is all in our house. All right. Truck number two is leaving for storage. We're making it work. We are making it work. It's like almost seven, I think. I'm not really sure. We're in a mad dash. A mad dash towards the end. Doo, 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 doo. I packed it. I wonder if you pull one string if everything will just come out. Don't. What time is it? Seven? Nine at night. <laughs> Alex over it. We're almost done though. Omar's over it. It's been a hellacious day. Hellacious two day. All empty. Empty. Dab station is still set up, of course. It's much needed during this time. Abner, we're out of here, man. You ready? Well, not yet, but close. We're real close. Oh, it's 7.30, fuck. I like to remind everyone that Alex said we would be done by 5 p.m. yesterday. This has been a full on 36 hour assault. Insane. Insane. All trash. <laughs> three way on yeah. accident. Well, yeah. What? Amanda, party foul. Oops. Threw away. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> ready for an adventure? What fucking time is it? 8.34. Alright, come on guys. Omar, come on. Abner, come on. Alright, so what, we meet in Silverthorne? Yeah, I'll meet you at the Silverthorne uh, charging station. Okay. Y'all be careful. Yeah, you can scoot up ahead of us if you want. Yeah, I'm leaving right now. Alright, that's it. Peace the fuck out, Colorado. <laughs> See you next time. That was brutal. Oh my god, it was brutal. Relax, buddy. Good boy. You got a nice little spot back there. Huh? The boys. The boys car. Dudes. Let's go. Let's go. I had a charge last night. And we also stopped at the condo. Alex's parents' condo for skiing. Uh, well, we slept here. Omar is not liking this trip. Very, very bummed out. He's gonna pant here in a few minutes. So we have a long drive ahead of us. But right now, Alex and her friend Amanda have already gone. Me and the dogs are chilling. Yeah, I mean, it's time to hit the road. Las Vegas, Nevada, not New Mexico. Let's see. And we have to stay below 75 miles to reach our destination. We'll be at 5% when we get to Green River, Utah. Let's go. How long does it say this is gonna take? 10 hours and 31 minutes. All right, guys, you guys ready? You got everything you need? Okay. Finally stopped panting for like five seconds. There's a huge watermelon in the distance over there. We're at the, uh, I think it's called the Lucky Beaver, maybe? The Lucky Beaver Car Walk? The Lucky Beaver in Beaver, Utah. We are charging for the last time of this trip, I do believe. You would think that Omar's not bugging right now, but he's still bugging. He's not breathing like he normally does, doing this pant thing the whole time. A few minutes of sleep in between, but you think you get tired of panting after a while, I don't know. He just relaxes, we're not moving. I hope he doesn't have motion sickness, but these long drives, he doesn't do that great. So, we're at the Lucky Beaver, or the Wet Beaver. They should have called it the Wet Beaver. It's fucking car wash. But, we're gonna charge up for another 15 minutes. And then we're um, three hours away from Vegas. We'll get there around 7.40 p.m. You know Blanco from 747 Vlog. Blanco is there already. Well, he will be there by the time I get there. He's gonna help us unload. So this should go pretty quickly. This will not be nearly as brutal as coming out here was. Cause that shit was brutal, as you know, as I've said over and over. We're almost there, three hours. It's like one really long podcast. You guys gonna make it? Three more? I think you can do it. Then you want to be in the car for like a year. What's 
What's up? All right, dogs. Can you do it without fucking myself up? One. Well, let's help you. Omar. What was that, an hour? Go check out your new digs. Oh, nice. I haven't even seen this place. No, <laughs> Just a picture, I guess. But I mean, that is crazy. Is it? It's a floor and shit. Damn. Oh shit. There's a dance floor. A little dance floor. This is where I can yell at people. Hey, you motherfucker. You down there. That's how I'm gonna be. Chilling up here. Yeah. Oh yeah. You ain't gonna use that shit. Oh yeah, buddy. Double shower head. You know what that means. Party time. Jacuzzi. Omar. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Oh, you're in a totally different mood now. Oh, we in a totally different mood now. We're vibing. We're not vibing in the car. This is the situation. We got wet towels on the dogs. No one's not into it. Abner's not into it. Alex isn't into it. Amanda's not into it. What? You were in this shit all day, and Amanda and I. It's true. We were walking outside. We were inside fucking freezing casinos. I know. I've been, I've been in hell all day. We went and purchased this. It's doing nothing. Wait, that's not quite true. It's added a little bit more air. Stand out of it. Come, come, come out of the way of it for a second. I'll prove you wrong. No. Okay. Let's see. It's uh, the thermostat all day has been stuck at like 90. We're at 89 now. It is now 9:30. So 24-hour AC service coming right now. Second night here. Last night was also hot. But I think we were just so fucking tired. We didn't do anything about it. This shit is brutal. I'm back to things being brutal. Okay. Good morning. Uh, last night when I updated the vlog. So yesterday I didn't vlog, uh, except for one moment which was the last moment before I'd already broken down about how hot it was. I, instead of just, you know, complaining like normal, was Googling it. I was like, you know, what is an, what is an AC supposed to do? And then I started reading that an AC is really only designed to keep a house 20 degrees cooler than the outside. But then I did some math and I was like, fuck, we're fucked. We are totally fucked. Like we moved to hell. The devil's fucking devil's playground. It is hot as fuck. Like hot as fuck. Yesterday, I walked outside barefoot. I know it was stupid. Burnt my feet instantly. Instantly. Yeah, that's hot, bro. So the inside, 90 degrees. I didn't do anything yesterday. I literally sat right there in that chair and did nothing. I got fucking talk shit on my phone about how hot it was. Bought some ACs. That's going back today. This thing sucks, by the way. You probably don't need it. You look up on the internet that these are the best things to get for this climate. It doesn't really work for me, personally. But portable evaporative cooler. I think it was a cool 400 bucks. That's going back today. At midnight, nice guy. Shout out to the AC guy. Long story short, we got a fucked up air conditioner. Some, it's leaking. They don't even make the shit that is leaking anymore. So once they run out, it's over with. It's like boost in 2028, 20, eventually. The well will run dry. This AC's older. It's breaking. It broke. They they charged it. I don't know what that means, but they charged it. And then they fixed it up so that it at least can run. So we got some AC ball in the day. Not nearly as bad. Yesterday was terrible. Omar, tell them about yesterday. Tell them. It's so much nicer in here today, huh? I agree. This is uh, Omar's favorite spot so far. Today should be a lot easier. Shouldn't have to drink so many liquid deaths, even though it's just water. As I ordered pizza yesterday in my sun fever, this shit's fire. I don't know if it's the best in town by any stretch, but, and these uh, tattoo designs are pretty funny, but the pizza, the pizza's good as fuck. I got a cheese thin crust and their pizza of the year or whatever that won an award. It's amazing, it's like pepperoni and some crazy cheese. Shit's so good, so good. Anyway, we are in Vegas, we're here. I don't know, we're supposed to go on a bike ride tomorrow. I'm so fucking worried about these bike rides now. I mean, I was talking a lot of shit about how hot it was gonna be. Boy, it's hot. Like, this is gonna be interesting. I feel like this is one of the wildest psychological experiments I took myself through. Let's see what happens. Las Vegas, motherfucker. And we're back to 85. So, guess who's here again right now? VAC guy. And if VAC guy doesn't fix it this time, we don't get it back working now. We're going to a hotel. The adventure. Just wait and see what happens. Be right back. All right. 317, it's 82 degrees. The short end of the long version is they're gonna have to replace the AC. Hopefully they can replace it before this one completely breaks and shuts down, which could be at any minute. Speaking of breaking and shut down, I <laughs> broke the Dream Labs piece. It is completely demolished. It's my favorite color. It's my favorite pipe and it is and it stabbed me. And, oh yeah, and then Alex stepped on the glass and then I had to pull it out of her foot as, it she, really hurt. as she flopped around the uh, bathtub. Today, day two of Vegas, 
not the best, you know? Could be worse. Could be losing money on the on the blackjack table. So at least we're not doing that. Someone out there is having a way worse day than us. It's true. We're fine. We're gonna make Light. it. Alright, it's uh 5 30. In the morning, no hotel. Oh, down to 69 degrees this morning. Thank God. Now, the AC, probably not gonna keep working. But they're probably still gonna replace it. They're just waiting on uh I don't know what they're waiting on. They're waiting on someone who can actually come do it. But this morning, we're going on a short little bike ride. Not only 90 degrees is the high today. 30 yards on the way. We're out here, right I got here. the neon yellow in case we're on the street. I'm trying to stay safe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I thought you were scared of it. I don't like it, dude. Why? I mean, the bike lanes are okay, but when there's not, and you're on like a fucking, it feels like a four lane highway out yeah. there. They don't even have the lines out here. They yeah, have bumps. The bumps yeah. Because the lines melt. Anything that's painted on is just cooked off in a few days. I won't lie and say I wasn't afraid. <laughs> yeah. so. We're unpacking. So, well, Alex is unpacking. The AC is still down to 68. There is caveat, if you will. We're running out of Freon. And this system sold, they don't even make this Freon, but that's not the point. The point is, is we're on a race against time. Whether they'll replace the AC, or if the Freon will go out first. We don't know. If the fucking AC turns off, we are going straight to a hotel. I mean, what else happened today? Oh, Abner had to go to the vet. Abner had, we don't know what they're called, but prickers deep down in his ears. Vet scare this morning. Glad you're okay. Don't need any more issues. I can't find the modem, so I don't know where the internet is gonna, or I don't know where the internet is. What else? We had egg slut for breakfast. I lost $20 on roulette. 25. You told me it was 30. 25. 26. So who's counting, you know? I think that's it. It's been a wild week. A wild, wild week. Hot Sauce Boys jersey's up for pre-order for three days. That's all I got. We got a, a look, lookbook is closed as of yesterday for friends and family. Other than that, it's just unpacking. I'm um, afraid of the floor. Selectively afraid of the floor. He decides sometime the floor is lava. I want I got anything to say to the people before we go, huh? Ooh, if I take your toy. That's it. We're out before anything else happens. Peace.